a Stuart 10H steam engine build, part 16, packing the valve rod and piston rod glands with Teflon coated yarn, cleaning up the slide valve face using a whetstone, reassembling the steam chest and fitting the piston and cylinder, connecting the eccentric rod to the valve fork, setting the valve timing and giving the engine some test runs. This opening image shows the Teflon coated yarn wrapped around the valve spindle. It's really important to make sure that the slide valve has a very clean and even face and this one didn't have that, so I'm giving it some whetstone treatment. In this clip, using a very small screwdriver point, I'm pushing the Teflon coated yarn down into the stuffing gland. Then I started to reassemble the engine, starting with the steam chest. The newly surfaced slide valve is now in place. All it needs now is some lubricating oil. This is the piston with the gland nut in place. And yes, I do know it's the wrong way round. This time I lubricate the piston rod first, and once again I'm pushing some Teflon coated yarn into the stuffing gland. The piston is still the wrong way round, but it doesn't really matter. Before tightening the gland, I just reversed it and put it in from the other end. The main thing though, is you have to make sure that it is not tight. Over tightening the gland nut can cause a lot of problems. Obviously the engine's not going to run too well because there's a lot of friction and it will even score the metal of the piston rod or valve spindle. This clip shows me tightening the piston rod into the crosshead using a pair of circlip pliers in the holes that I drilled previously. I'm applying quite a lot of oil but don't forget for the oil that goes in the cylinder, it needs to be steam oil, not lubricating oil, and definitely not machine oil or motor oil. Using the wrong type of oil can attack, and generally does attack, the silicone o-ring, which then in turn swells and causes a great deal of problems. So don't forget, steam oil only in the cylinder. This, by the way, is not the final assembly of this engine, for instance, there aren't any gaskets on the steam chest or the steam chest cover, and the cylinder is only held to the sole plate with two nuts. It's just a case that I'm so close to completion, well, in a manner of speaking, that I think it's a good idea to see if it runs. And, as you can see, it's looking very encouraging. This is beginner's luck, because I haven't really set the slide valve properly yet. I'll do that later on in this episode. The timing is quite retarded, and I could do with doing something about this, but at the moment I'm just playing with it. I'll give it a quick tweak. Timing is not perfect yet, and it's a little bit tight. The crankshaft is still bent, and I will sort this out once I've finished the engine. All I can really do in this episode is run the engine to run it in or break it in, and it takes a while. I can tell by ear that the slide valve is not in the right place relative to the ports and for that reason I disconnected the eccentric rod from the valve fork. I'm pleased to say that I got it close and here I've refitted the pin in the eccentric rod and I'm rotating the engine to have a good look at which point the ports are opened by the valve. And I've figured out that if I rotate the valve fork just one turn, everything should be fine. So that's what I'm doing. I rotated it one turn, refitted the pin, tightening the nut back up at the other side. And after a quick check, just to make sure I wasn't hallucinating, yes, I can say that the valve timing is as near perfect as it can be. The only problem I can see is that the timing is slightly retarded. 
It may work better if I put the slide valve in the other way round. I'll probably try that. But for now, it's just time to run it in. After running the engine at a high RPM, followed by a low RPM, I can hear that it's getting better. What I haven't shown is that I stopped it periodically to re-lubricate everything, including the steam oil in the cylinder. There's still some more work to do and I'll continue as usual in the next episode, not forgetting the final job, the painting. But that's it for now, stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.